formats of letters basically there are uh, three uh, types of letter formats the full block format the full block with subject line and the simplified uh, format uh, in all of these all of the information which you put in the letter is uh, on the left hand side of the page uh, and there are no indentations in the paragraphs um, you give a date with it and then you have a complementary close and the signature and all of this is on the left hand side of the page this is what a full block looks like you can see that all the information from the writer's address the date the reader's address the salutation and the introductory paragraph all of these are flush with the left margin of the page and there are two to four spaces in between all of these from the top of the margin of the page to space in between the salutation and the first paragraph so this is what the full block looks like and you can see here the other part of the same letter and you can see that throughout and the same rule is being followed then uh, the second type of uh, um, uh, format for letter writing is the uh, full block but with the addition of a subject line so this is more uh, this is considered to be more popular and more professional um, among in business writing and again all the information uh, is typed on the left margin of the page uh, there are uh, just like the full block style there are no indentations uh, the date and the complementary close as well as the signature they are all given on the left hand side so this is an example of uh, the full block style with the subject line so you can see that almost all of the same thing is being followed as the full block with the exception that there is a subject line and the subject says subject colon and then pollution control inspection and then there is a salutation and so on so the last type of format which is called the simplified format uh, it also follows the same more or less the same thing uh, but uh, what it omits is the salutation as well as uh, the complimentary close uh, which could be in the form of sincerely or sincerely yours and so on so um, usually this type of a format is used when you do not, do not know the name of the person or the uh, name of the people you are writing to uh, you do not know whether the the gender of the person whether it is a male or a female so you try to avoid uh, using awkward constructions like to whom it may concern or you try not to write dear sirs or dear sir oblique madam or dear miss or mrs and so on so um in case uh, you do not know the gender of the person so uh, you do not uh, then you use this type of a format um some writers feel that um by not using the salutation and by not writing uh, the complimentary close um you sort of uh, give a negative feeling to the reader and it affects the tone of your letter it appears to be less friendly but um, other writers other people's opinion are that um, if otherwise your letter is positive and it is friendly then uh, omitting the salutation and the uh, complimentary close is not going to affect the tone of the letter so this is what the simplified letter looks like the format looks like you can see that all the, the other information is the same the heading the inside address the date but instead of the uh, salutation there is only the subject line and it is the same subject pollution control inspection and this is what the end is here you can again see that there is no complimentary close to write good letters it is um, important that your students they understand all the essential components as well as the optional components of the letter so it is good for the teacher to give them a letters a checklist against which they can check whether they have fulfilled all the whether they are including the optional uh, components of the letter or not so uh, they can help your learners uh, to improve their letter writing and systematically make their writing more systematic so you should also encourage them to apply the three step writing process of uh, pre writing writing and rewriting and then um, follow the rules of conciseness clarity correctness and ethics